Hi guys, welcome back on my channel. So today we are doing a rebalance on the snails. They were actually pretty cool and I didn't record the tutorial on them, which is a shame, but we are going to record tutorial on this set. So I'm just putting my favorite gloves, which I hate. <laughs> and then we're just spraying, just wrapping your hands. I will show you on a couple of nails, like, because you have seen me doing rebalance so many times, so there is no need of showing you that too many times. So I've got just my e-file and I'm putting the fan on and I will just remove the color from like couple nails just to show you how I do it. So nice contact with the entire nail. That was actually a really nice before and an after picture because the natural nails have been a bit biting. <laughs> and uh, putting such a long extensions, I was scared they might break, but there is no breakage. They all nice and tucked. So you can see like the natural nail have been really short. And we have applied the tips, build up nice apex, not overly too large. You don't want the huge Kilimanjaro on the nails. It just doesn't look nice and there is no need for that. Are we going to keep the length or just a tiny bit shorter to reshape them? Um, whatever you think so. Okay, so we will just reshape them. Actually, they lasted you really well. I really like this green color, I think it was fantastic. And we're going for some blacks and pinks this time. Very exciting. So this is actually going to be a very easy job for me to do a rebalance on those nails. There is no lifting, there is no breakage. Basically, just take the color off, like scratch the surface of the natural nail plate, blend it, reshape it, and apply the gel. Just for a quickness, I'm going to show you guys on the one hand. So my next step will be to push back the cuticles. So just nice push. Then I'm just going with the e file around the cuticle. I'm not doing excessive cuticle work before the uh, filing the shape just because I don't want the cuticles to be sensitive. So I usually remove everything which is on the nail plate only at this stage. 
unless the cuticles are really excessive, then yes, I will trim some even before the application of the gel. But at this stage, I prefer to do it just a little work on the cuticle. Only really what is required like for putting the gel on the nail plate. now we can just shape them so what I'm going to do is still keep those <laughs> still keep those nice coffin shape so going into the v-shape shorten the length a little bit blend everything around the cuticle area remove any color which is there Scratch the surface of the natural new plate. And basically this nail is ready for a gel application. So very quick and fill. Sorry, had the client in. And I'm just going to do the same on this one. So nice and sharp. Nice and sharp. Fix that free edge. Actually, guys, going to show you maybe just on those two nails, and then I will do the rest on my own. Unless you're not bored, then I can keep going. <laughs> So it's really just to fix and improve the shape which we have created on the last appointment. Coffin shape like to rend it a little bit after we wear it for some time. So I always try to bring back the sharpness of this shape. After I have done this part, I'm just going to make sure the natural nail plate is really nicely scratched. And that's them ready for a gel application. So clean the dust, dehydrate with the blue scrub, like nice and properly. I've got some white here. That, oh, that was some white gel polish. And I really don't want that. So I never keep the colors uh, from the previous application on the nails. Like I don't cover with the fresh product. It just doesn't look right later on. Especially if we would like to maybe go for a baby boomer for a change or something very natural You don't want all this old product to be like encapsulated in the glitter So I have used an extra nail prep and then I'm using the universal air bond and that gives an absolutely perfect adhesion of the uh, Gel to the natural nails and then we are going to use my favorite fiber gel and light rose and that's uh, What have been on those nails before as well? So 
so I always before application clean my brush now nice and thin layer on the natural nail because I've got quite a lot of product at the free edge because it came back like all intact I'm just really touching up more through the natural nail and making sure I'm cupping those free edge the places where the natural nail join in And now build up my apex. So basically I just need to move my apex back. And because her natural nails are so short, I really need to have quite a decent amount of the product on the natural nail and just a very little product at the free edge inside. And the reason for it, I kind of quite like to explain it. And you can you could probably see it on the previous tutorials. I'm just trying to find some things. <laughs> so imagine this is a nail plate and then and then this is going to be our apex so her natural nail I need another business card sorry this is a natural nail this is the extension on top of it so her natural nail is very short so that's her natural nail and the extension is pretty long if I put the apex on top of it the apex is going to nicely hold the product if i put the apex there i need something straight oh gosh sorry guys i need to just i need to just do this demonstration properly so i grab this away oh there we are that's that's is going to be a better one okay you can see it all so this is a natural nail, which is very short. Extension sticks out so much from the natural nail. If my apex is here, it is going to keep this gel in place. If I put the apex there, can you see it is making the lifting? So very important, too much product at the free edge is going to cause the lifting on such a short nail. We need apex here to hold everything in place when the nail is growing as well. So this way, even on the very short nails, we can put, um, Kind of decent length extensions and I find that lots of nail tech is scared to make the nails too thin and they put so much product on top of it I might actually no this one is fine that's it I might actually keep explaining it on this one as well so I have tried to the apex was here originally like because I want this product to be holding the extension if it would be too much in here it would be too heavy for the very little natural nail and that will definitely cause the lifting. Um, and they kind of not overly too, too thick, but the business card thickness is enough thickness for the extensions to, to be strong enough. Okay, so that's a bit of theory. Now let's go shape those nails, because I will do exactly the same on the other hand and then on my own, and then we'll, I will come back to you when it's a time for the color application. So now I need to really nicely shape them. So nice and straight. Nice and straight. Okay. Touch up the free edge. 
blend everything around the cuticle area check the hairline I'm not happy with this place here a bit too thick now so smooth it out I don't touch my apex there is no need it's a good thickness do it the same so instead of doing too many movements like just wherever I'm really doing very controlled movements like I know where I want to place my file Blend that out around the cuticle area. Check the hairline. Smooth it out. So I'm trying to get this really nice V-shape with the coffin. And now I can see I've got too much on the side, so I need to bring them higher up. And this is this movement here on the snail, this movement. And you can see it's already become nicer shape of the coffin. And you can also see the thickness, like if I don't shape the free edge, it has quite a lot of product, so I don't want to keep it as thick. And I will just slightly remove the excess of it from the free edge. We also need to take into the consideration that we are going to apply the gel polish on top of them. So like if they really too thick and awful, like uh, with all this gel polish you are going to put on the top, it's just not going to look nice. I also like to check the client's view as well, because this way I can see it how the nails how the nails look. And then take a buffer to smooth them all nice. Thank you. When buffing the nails we kind of file the cuticles a little bit as well so in some cases it might happen that we don't need any more cuticle work but usually I would go with the nipper and just tidy up them a little bit more can you see this like line never like the line cannot be visible because that's my cause, the lifting. So I'm really blending this out. So 
so the last time when I had Brittany, she had some neon, no, actually black, was it neon top? Yeah, neon the green top, neon yeah. top. <laughs> and today she got a cute Barbie top <laughs> and we are going to do some cute nails as well. But actually just kind of more like a pink and black style. Uh, so she comes up always with um, great ideas and I thought I'm going to actually record tutorial on her nails as well for you guys. <laughs> But you are a dancer, isn't yeah, it? A dancer um, and a trained in musical theatre. So yeah, she's got interesting <laughs> things to do. And then nice nails too much. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have like unique Unique style and, like, and clothes. Unique mm -hmm. nails, so. Definitely. I like actually the fact, you know, guys, when she comes in, she comes in like the clothes are just too much the set uh, she's actually going to have. So pretty interesting personality for you to see as well. I get so excited for what you're going to do with my nails. I'm just like, ah, I've got to match. <laughs> <laughs> cool. But see, I enjoy it doing the nails like so much, like, and you can do so many different things for people and And with you, it was huge, like, uh, the before and an after was like, wow. Especially with the tan. Yeah, but also with the nails being so yeah. short. Like, I was really worried that you might maybe a snap a nail or like, you know, going from no nail to pretty long ones. Because this is well over 100% of the nail bed extensions. Normally I'm not keen on doing those kind of length on such a short nail beds. Because um, I'm always worried like if the client is going to hurt himself or something. So that's my nails prepped and I will need to do a little bit of the cuticle work. So that went oh, pretty, pretty quick. Um, but uh, normally I would just swap the hands and work all the time. I can probably see it before as well, like how I'm doing it. So I thought there's no point to show you full process. Okay, then push back. Cuticles, clean the dust and we're ready for the color application. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other hand and on the thumb, and then come back to you when they all finished and ready for the color and design application. Okay, so that's our nails all nice and prep and we've got some colors and things and we are going to do this kind of pink and black set. So I'm going to paint this nail nice and pink color. That's a nice color. So quiet with no music on. Is that because of the coronavirus? No, it's just uh, we can play the music, but obviously it's just because of the recording. The oh yeah. Uh, how you say it? Copyrights. Yeah. Yeah, so I actually had one of the videos stopped because some lady had the phone and it ringed. So when it ringed, it was like a um, music to ringtone. So it had to get stopped as well. That's crazy. Yeah. So when I'm painting, I'm kind of pushing the cuticles back as well. <coughs> OK. 
cool. Cook them in. And this one, <laughs> that's it. I think it's just a matter of getting um, used to. This pink is so nice. It's a definitely kind of a Barbie pink. I have the like lights in my room as well, and uh -huh. the green nails glowed in like all of my videos. It was insane. <laughs> um, we've got some glow in the staff uh, pigments, like glow in the dark pigments as well. Yeah. Like uh, they awesome to do the designs. I was doing some nails with the stars. And then the stars have been sprinkled with this powder, so they did glow in the oh. dark, which was super cool as well. So I'm not going to stick in like a full nail of the crystals or Swarovski crystals pixie, but I will use the sugar to give you kind of a nice glittery sparkly look, um, which is much softer. Mm -hmm. You should really like that as well. Just checking if we're still in the camera view. Yes, I know I didn't paint it the other thumb. <laughs> it was for a reason. Like honestly, to speed up the time because I want to apply the sugar on the pinky first and then I need those nails more ready kind of for the design part. So when you... Are you going back to the school, like to the dancing school or no, quitting it completely? Uh, I Can I see it? Um, I'm... <laughs> going to do a university business course instead so that if my illness comes back and my dancing isn't 100 percent, i can still fall back on the business yeah side of things so you i can still definitely... take classes uh-huh um yeah kind of have some backup yeah. plan, you know and business is always business and sports um was my first choice before i thought dance was possible as well so mm -hmm. So I have also found out that uh, you have run the YouTube channel as well, which you have deleted, which is a shame because then we would, guys, give you the link so you could see how she dance. <laughs> My daughter all likes all kind of cosplays, things like, yeah. you know, and she's got TikTok as well. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one as well, but I'm, guys, I'm not active. <laughs> but if you want, you can just search it, Dorota Palitska. I'm just putting some videos of the news. And my friends are crazy about the TikTok as well. Like one of them, just she keeps posting all the time some funny videos. I think it's a really good platform for growing a big audience in a small amount of time. Hmm. Gosh, those gloves giving so funny noises. I had actually a pretty really busy day, been bad for not eating breakfast, not drinking enough, and then my head is just killing me, you know, the joys. So that's another thing, guys, like I'm, I'm back full time in the salon as well, like, so you will be probably seeing more of the tutorials from the salon if I find a time for them. <laughs> and uh, less probably of the ones on the tips. 
but I bet you're all happy about it because I think you much prefer it seeing the nails done on the live people rather than on the tips. <clears throat> so I really want to cover the entire tip with the design and keep pulling the sides folds also you could see it i have fixed it there's a wee dent so i will be fixing it also with the top coat but i have already managed to smooth it a little bit with the gel polish so as i have said i keep fixing the shape with every single step so every single coat is like trying to get a nice looking nails Okay, then the pinky. And yeah, we're definitely going for those sugar looks on the pinkies. some change <laughs> so on this one i'm going to put the mermaid powder with some top coat to get a nice sugar effect so i'm covering entire nail with the top coat and it has to be the no wipe top gel for this effect actually I might actually mix it with some other one it's a shame in the house I had another one as well which I would be so happy to use it <laughs> oh but this one is nice okay I like this one too now when sprinkle with the glitters guys you have to be careful like to don't um sorry my head is just killing me to don't sprinkle on the other nail so i always kind of separate the separate the nail and i'm going to mix it the glitter just to get a nice color yeah this is going to be cool <laughs> So I have just mixed it two different colors of the glitter. The mermaid glitter is very, very fine glitter. Um, and the ladies really like it because it's not rough. And then other side, but it gives kind of those really sparkly effect. And it looks like lots of crystals on the nail. And because we have used those pink base, we can still see those kind of pink color through it. So doing the same on this nail. other side thank you <laughs> this is very helpful okay and that's change <laughs> now on this nail i have to 
Okay, now we are going to also do some nice design. So I'm going to apply the top coat because we want some glittery drips, we want some painting and black designs. Actually, actually, okay, and the drips here as well. Do you like in the sugar? Yeah. Can I put it on your farm as well? Yeah. Other side. change okay so sugar again and here <laughs> and the side other side perfect thank you that is very very helpful <laughs> Awesome. Then I'm going to, and here I will swap it. Okay, so the glittery drops will go in the middle one. Perfect change. And we're going to do some freehand painting. So now I've got two options because we are going for a kind of Barbie design. So what I could do is I could use the Sharpie just to paint something or we could use the foil design gel to paint in black. And if I want to use the Sharpie, I would apply the top coat and bath it first so I could make a letters. And I think it will be nice if we will write the word Barbie on this new one. Actually, I'm going to use the Sharpie for that. So just covering it with the top coat, with no fluffy bits and pieces. We don't want that on your nails. <laughs> Change. <clears throat> now the glittery, the, the drips, the drips, drips. Okay, I can start doing the drips on this nail and we are going to use the black gel for that and my D-liner brush so I'll just move that for you guys so you can see it I'm always taking a small piece of the foil so I can keep my products on the sides and to paint the drops I'm just touching kind of harder And then going to the top. So this way we will paint a really nice drips. Very close to the cuticle. And this black and uh, pink combination is so nice. I'm always so concentrated when I'm doing some paintings.
Oh yeah. Um, I wasn't sure yesterday if I liked my voucher. Yes, you did. I did. Okay, I've been looking for it. Oh uh, yeah, I, I just got, got it. it. No, I've got it. I've got it for you. Uh, yeah. Okay, I will be with you two seconds, really. Okay, guys, I'm just going to quickly finish this. They not finish yet. Okay, I'm just going to serve my lady, and I will be back with you. Yeah. So we're just going to. In some drips. Same on this one, so nice and neat around the cuticle area. So some of the drips you want bigger, some of them you want smaller. Don't make them all exactly the same. It just doesn't look too nice if they're all the same. Now just going to do another few drips in here and then we've got the design on the middle finger plus we've got some barbie words on the other finger. I actually need to hurry up a little bit because uh, one of the girls is running late and I need to save the situation. <laughs> Okay, and that's the last strip change. Now on the middle finger we are oh <laughs> trips.
actually the combination of the black and pink it looks really really nice And the last touches to the strips. Perfect change. Now on this one we are going to do the painting. So I have to coat it and um, I can buff it just so the sharpie goes on really nice. And if we make a mistake or something like we can easily wipe it off and just redo it. <clears throat> so I'm going to take these gloves off with the camera in as well. It's not going to touch the client's skin anyway. And I need full mobility with my hands and the gloves just don't let me do it. I'm so bad at like letters painting. I can paint the flowers, but I'm always worse at painting like okay, so we've got some no, don't touch it, you will break it. <laughs> And then I need to buff this one and we are going to write some Barbie on it. Unless you want to swap this one for a letter B. Can they go? I don't know which one you prefer it. Either. <laughs> okay. So, you know, the Barbie one, we will do it this way because the B yeah. can be the biggest. So we've got, okay, I need to also check. So what I have done is I check the size, like how big letters I can go for. And I have never painted the word Barbie before. So it has the V line. It has a letter B. Like this. Yes, I'm holding my breath. So we have done some Barbie <laughs> writing. <laughs> and then on this one, do we keep this? Or are we swapping it for the letter B? What could you prefer? It? <laughs> maybe the letter B. Yeah, and yeah. maybe like a wheel of heart or something. Yeah, yeah sure. I think it will be nicer. So yeah, we're changing the mind, so I can wipe it off with the Neil dehydrator, scratch it. Thank you. And I think going for a letter B will be a nicer option.
Okay, that isn't a nice bee. Show me. I don't like this one. <laughs> Do you like it? No, I've been honest. <laughs> the first time when you drew it, the worry, that was really good. The, uh... the little drawing, yeah. Really? Yeah. No, I think this one is better. That, one, that one's good, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I don't know even. See, normally if I would paint the letter B, a kind of like more yeah. those kind of style. Yeah. Rather than to, um, like you've got it on your top. Is yeah. It's I like think Barbie is curly, and you know, yeah. can we go maybe for yeah, something for sure. like this? Awesome. So I've got my version of the letter B. And I think this is cuter. Much cuter. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> Ta -da! Okay, so that's our nails finish. I need to just top coat it everything. So you would wait for the for the sharpie to dry, and then apply the top coat on the entire design. And set. And for this one, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer for it to dry. And then I can apply the top coat. So I show you in the meantime what I'm doing with the sugars. So scratch, scratch, and then remove excess. And you can see how nice effect we've got it like on those nails with the sugar. Now I'm just going to apply the top coat on the snail, cure them, clean them, and take a nice picture. I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below. I actually show you this hunt as well, guys. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to take a picture of them. Glittery hacks. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.